How's it going guys? This is Jordan from Designers Pen and today I want to show you guys the kind of progress and maybe a particular use case that I've been using Vizcom for so far. Uh, if you're not familiar, Project Vizcom is essentially this AI driven design tool that I've been creating that has been trained on the, I would call the collective consciousness of the car design world, which means for a fancy way of saying a ton of car design sketches and it is now able to then generate car design sketches of its own. So. It's pretty interesting. Um, what you see on the screen right now is the first iteration of kind of how I imagined this actually working out. Um, I've been sending emails to you guys back and forth that signed up for the early access program um, and just people within the community trying to get a feedback and understand exactly maybe what the actual use case is here. So, you know, as you look here, as I click this generate button, I'm just looking for a design or a benchmark that I can maybe start with to kind of, you know, fill in a lot of the early gaps that I usually have problems with or just, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't call them problems, but this is more so supposed to be a collaborative design tool, something that's gonna help you like um, kick off your design process, let's say, or just like VizCom practice. Like uh, I thought this one was pretty interesting, so I'm actually gonna save this one, maybe see what I can do with it. Um, so I'm actually gonna speed up the rendering process here. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. I'm gonna bring in the sketch. Um, the sketch is kind of out of proportion and warped right now. But essentially, this tool is something that I see being a just another outlet for inspiration. You know, a lot of people are usually on Pinterest or they're just looking at other people's car sketches and just trying to replicate them as much as possible. But with this tool, I kind of wanted this to be maybe a way for people to potentially derive at new design results that they might have never have otherwise um, because you know everyone's got their own little maybe like pocket sketch or their own way of you know usually regurgitating other designs but this is just kind of like a massive library of pre-generated designs that uh, you guys can all work from that the computer essentially thought of itself uh, maybe I, I'll try not to get maybe too technical into maybe how this is exactly working but um, I wanted to essentially make this demo to kind of show you guys the workflow that I've kind of established using a tool like this and it's kind of also just maybe sometimes good practice that I usually use it for to kind of just like get back familiar with uh, sketching and just understanding viscom and your one two three values because uh, the model the AI model has been trained on tons and tons and tons of car sketches so it kind of understands some basic things like the one two three values and things like that so this is kind of a starting point that you could use for something like that um, it could also be a really cool learning tool if you just kind of want to like learn perspective and proportions um, I wouldn't consider it something that kind of quote-unquote some people would say cheat because um, this is just something this would be as simple like as an ellipse guide or your French curves and things like that but almost like a digital extension of those things but a little bit more advanced obviously so just starting from that sketch you know the generated image you can kind of already maybe see where I'm going with this and the design that I saw from it and that's kind of the beautiful thing about it everyone might have their own interpretations on how some of these generative designs should be carried out it's very similar to um, you know if you're in a studio with someone or someone's showing you their sketches and then you might sketch over it you might draw over it because the way that you perceived it is sometimes a lot different than maybe how they saw the potential in their own design so that's kind of the approach that I've been taking with this um, in general it's like although the generative designs may come across as existing designs even though it's you can still kind of have your own way of reinterpreting what it actually should be so with this one oh yeah I gotta cut that out um, so yeah I'm just I'm probably rambling on too much here but I'm gonna try to maybe not talk through this entire thing but this I just wanted to put this out there to kind of like show you guys how I personally start from these generative design sketches and then come to a uh, a new conclusion of some sort so and I usually keep it pretty loose you know like I, this is something that's supposed to be ideative maybe for me personally and not to like finish tight rendering because honestly like for something like that these days I just usually just use a 3d model and just use that and render over it or sketch over it or something like that but yeah for like a quick ideative process and kind of just understand your theme and your overall form language I think a tool like this can be very useful just you know go through the generated images find something you like 
either you color pick it or you actually use it as a starting base point and that's what I did in this picture or in this demo video that I'm showing you guys so once again I just want to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video and also if you guys haven't already feel free to check out Project Viscom you know you can sign up for the early access program you guys will be able to access this and use it for whatever you guys want to do exactly what I did in this video um, I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me through this and designers pen a lot of people have reached out to me personally even asking like how they could help or how they can actually contribute to this project and I've actually gotten to touch with some really smart um, inspiring people so if you guys have if you guys have interest in this project and actually want to maybe um, be collaborative on this uh, discord is in the link or this <laughs> discord link is in the description um, so feel free to join my discord you guys can message me there's a project viscom channel there also, um, if you want to support Designers Pen in general or this project, there's also a Ko-Fi uh, link in the description, which is essentially you can buy me, well not me, but you can buy Designers Pen as a whole, a cup of coffee to kind of show your support for the community that we have been establishing here. So yeah, because I've been doing this for quite some time now, it feels like. But anyways, I'm going to keep this outro short. I know my voice can get very annoying. So once again... Thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and maybe leave a comment, you know, on what you think the future role of AI tools or just AI in general plays in design, because there's just endless opportunities. Once I discovered something like this, I just kind of got upset. I got like, uh, I just got very curious. And then my curiosity drove me to then just follow out, follow through and just go full fledged and make this project. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it guys. I'm going to cut this short. Um, don't forget to th hit that thumbs up button, and I'll hear you. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.